it's Mike McInerney with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at my personal home gym. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about um, how to work the abs. I know that the abs are one of the areas that pretty much every single person wants to hit when they try and train. Now remember, doing abs is always uh, best to actually do them at the tail end of a workout, okay? You, you, trick, you, you traditionally want to start your workout programs where you're focusing on some of the larger muscle groups first and always do abs towards the tail end for a couple of different reasons. You know, number one is mainly because some people think, well, if I do them at the beginning, at least I get them over with. Don't think of doing your abs as just getting them over with. If you want a six pack, if you actually want to get a nice flat stomach to where you actually have some definition, some tone, diet is key. But remember, the exercises that you do are also key. So I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite ab movements to do, a superset of sort. Actually, it is a superset. And then I'm going to demonstrate the exercises, talk to you guys a little bit about the reasons why we do them, and the order in which we do them. Okay, because that also is very, is very crucial. So first things first, we're going to do a hanging leg raise. Now, if you don't have the bags, that's perfectly okay. All right? Um, a lot of people, if your gym or wherever you train doesn't have bags, you can just do hanging le uh, leg raise where you're just hanging here. Or if you have a Roman chair, you can also do a Roman chair. But since uh, fortunately I have the bags here, I prefer to do them because it allows me to put a little bit more emphasis on the actual muscle group that I'm working versus holding on with my arms and then trying to work the abs, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a hanging leg raise, okay? We're gonna just come up and Get those legs up, rotation in the hips. All right, just a couple. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do exercises here. As soon as we get done with that, we're immediately gonna turn around. In this case, I have the cables here, but you wanna go into an overhead uh, standing cable crunch, okay? We're gonna stand in the upright position, lean down and crunch. And go ahead and release. All right. So those are two exercises we do. Now, sets and reps are very important. So make sure that you follow a structured workout plan, which I do have on the website. But I'm gonna explain a little bit about the technique behind these two movements. First things first, guys. When you're working your abs, okay, one of the things that you always wanna make sure you do, if you're working you know, your abdominals, you wanna try and work from the weakest part to the strongest part. What does that mean? Well, your abs, you have your transverse abdominus is made up of an upper portion of the upper abs, the middle portion, and the lower portion. What that means is that that's where flexion and extension happens in each segment of the abs. You also have your transverse abdominus, your external obliques, so all those different areas of the abs are made up. Your weakest part in the abdominals is the lower abs, mainly because you do a lot of trunk flexion here, but very seldom do we actually have hip rotation to where our hips rotate when we walk or when we're doing anything. And that's how you're actually gonna target the lower abs. So a lot of people, when they do hanging leg raises, they do certain things where they hang, or they're on the Roman chair, and they just do this. They just bring their knees up, okay? What you have to understand is that does nothing, okay? All, that, all that's doing is pulling from your hip flexors right down here. If you're just pulling your hips, your legs up, you're not contracting your lower abdominals. The only way you're gonna get that contraction is if you have rotation in your hips. Okay, so that's the reason why I extend my legs up and I pull my entire pelvis vertical and that's going to pull up, it's going to pull my pelvis up, rotate my hips, and that's how you're going to target your lower abs. So if you look, the difference between doing this or even this, I see a lot of people do this, get rotation in your hips, pull your butt up. You want to try and point your butt that way, okay? So as you come up here, rotate. Get rotation, get flexion into your abs, get flexion in your hips, you're gonna feel it in your lower abs, okay? So, as soon as we get done with that, now we go into a standing overhead cable crunch. Now, the reason why I like this is because you can actually apply more weight to the abs. A lot of people say, oh, don't do, you know, just do body weight exercise for the abs. Look, the abs are a muscle group like anything else, okay? Whether they're white fiber or red fiber, they still respond under stress with resistance and that's best for when you want to actually you know work those muscles because muscles at need a stress in order to grow okay and have definition so as you come here what you want to do I see a lot of people doing this exercise 
where they come down and they don't really know what they're doing. They're just doing some type of rotation and pulling down here. Sometimes they kneel and do it. The same type of thing that we did with the lower part when we have rotation in our hips, now we want to have trunk rotation. So that means having your back flat like this, holding the, holding the cable or the bands above my head and the only part of my body that moves is flexion into my spine. I'm not bending down here. I want to extend. See how my butt sticks out here? I want to extend and as I come here, I want to pull my sternum, my chest, to my belly button with the cables, okay? So as I'm here, I'm pulling my sternum to my belly button and that's what I want to do. So I have the cables and I'm crunching in, okay? I'm pulling these elbows and drawing back towards my hips. I'm not pulling back, I'm not leaning back, I'm not pulling from my hips. So as I come here, I'm right here and all I'm doing, I'm extending, you see how my butt sticks out? Now from here, pull and extend up, extend up. My back does not move, the only part that I should be feeling is in my mid and upper abs. And the reason why we do these exercises this specific way is because you don't want to fatigue the weakest part. Look, any type of ab movement you're doing, you're working all different areas, okay? The only thing that goes from exercise to exercise is which part of the abs, just like any other muscle group, are going to be emphasized, okay? When you're doing this, yes, my lower abs, my mid abs, my upper abs, they're all working, but because of the resistance being ahead of me, on this part of my lever arm versus pulling my legs up, now the majority of the load is, is emphasized onto my upper and my mid part of my abdominals, okay? When I'm doing the reverse hanging leg raise or reverse crunch, now the load is coming up this way to different type of resistance. Therefore, yes, all my abdominals are actually being worked, but the primary part of my abs is in the lower abs, okay? So if you guys want a workout program that has this two superset together, in an actual program. Guys, log on to the WorkoutTrainer.com website. There are gonna be some major changes that we have in store for you guys. All the workout programs are free. All the videos are free. The community's free. You guys can create, share. Do anything you want in terms of workout programs. Ask me a question. This is the place where fitness lives, guys. If you guys have any questions about this exercise, my workout programs, my videos, supplements, anything, make sure to ask me either on Facebook or you can ask me in the community section, there is a Q&A. You guys find me, ask me a question, it goes right to my iPhone. I get that email and I will respond immediately, guys, 24 seven, I'm always on for you guys. So if you have any more questions, let me know. Until next time, it's Mike Macklin with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at my personal home gym. Take care.